so uh, even to many of our teas have a quite a high level of fluoride and one has to be very, very careful. Uh, an extra one here in uh, where I'm located, Geelong, is that there are fluoride emissions from fertiliser factories, there's, fer there's fluoride emissions to the atmosphere from uh, aluminium foundries and also from the uh, burning of materials in some of the uh, power generation and uh, cement works. Hmm. So what advice would you give to people drinking fluoridated water? Just that I wouldn't drink it. The difficulty is that with fluorides is that they are accumulative and when I analyse tissues such as teeth that have been extracted, there can be very high levels of fluoride in the teeth. The same would be true of what's in the bone and we're finding this in wildlife uh, in areas where there's high aerial emissions of fluoride that the likes of kangaroos and that are showing uh, skeletal fluorosis. So uh, I think it's a very dangerous substance and that we should minimise its uptake, not be uh, maximising it. What would you say to governments that continue to force fluoridation onto communities? That uh, they should do what I did and uh, do uh, tissue analysis and as a, a precautionary principle they shouldn't add it to the water until they've done that for the areas where they're, where they're proposing to do it but notwithstanding that I see no argument to put it in and it's in my view uh, quite an aggressive uh, uh, approach to uh, to providing for the the welfare of the community. If fluoride is supposed to be safe and effective, which is that we've had that touted for so long, if fluoride is so safe and effective, why do you think governments then provide legislation that protects the government from any uh, suits that might be put against them for damage from fluoride? Uh, first of all, to stop the avenue uh, as a um, as a lawful means to stop the government from putting it in. And uh, secondly, uh, there are accidents uh, in terms of its addition. And uh, whilst uh, the government members may completely believe the, the literature that suggests that fluoride is uh, um, safe, they are largely ignorant to the information that, uh, uh, that showed up in my uh, analysis being that there's so much fluorides now used uh, that 30% of the population are naturally fluoride toxic. The reason that I hold the views I do is I've analysed in excess of 2,000 human samples routinely and correlated that with the symptoms that I was seeing and when you get a high proportion of particular symptoms coupled with a high level of fluoride it is a, 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 an opinion can be drawn that the fluoride is involved. So I speak from my own experience in the field of analysing samples. The difficulty is that with fluorides is that they are accumulative. I think it's a very dangerous substance and that we should minimise its uptake, not be uh, maximising it.